Hi, my name is Saleria Malayan, founder and president of the Philippines Kay Yelpis of Funinorge or the Filipino Helping Society in Norway. Today, I will explain to you how you can become an active FHS volunteer. So, we will explain the three uh, starting steps on how to become FHS volunteer and we'll explain on about uh, volunteer categories and in the end we will explain to you how we evaluate your status as a volunteer here in FHS. Okay, to begin, here are the three starting steps on how to become FHS team volunteer. Team volunteer means uh, those who will volunteer in the core uh, teams which are uh, Newby Norway, Helsio Villedihet, Kulturang Noypi. And uh, for the FHS UNG, I will later explain to you uh, the process of volunteer of volunteering in the FHS UNG core team. All right. So if you want to be part of Newby Norway, Team Helsio Villedihet, or Team Kulturang Noypi, first step is to go to our website and register both as FHS member and volunteer. You will uh, see the links uh, in the front uh, page on the home page of our website. Or you can also uh, uh, register through other pages in the website. So it's not so hard to see. The next step after registering, when we open uh for uh, volunteer for new volunteers uh, those who registered in our system will get an email where you can uh, where you are invited uh, to be interviewed of uh, FHS core group members so you will get an email a date and time and the link for the interview so after or during the interview you will be asked uh, to select your core team. So there you can be, you can select if you wanted to be part of Kulturang Noipi, uh, Newby Norway, House of Edadihad, Eler Ung, if you wanted also to be part of that. And then the sub step on the step two is registering uh, in the team directory. So each teams in Kulturang Noipi, Newby Norway, has over the dead, have PC or plan coordinator. The plan coordinator is the one responsible for uh, collecting your information and uh, saving it in our team directory. And the third step is uh, submission of ORSH plan. You'll be given two weeks to accomplish the ORSH plan. The ORSH plan uh, must contain first and foremost your availability and one to three activities that you would want to initiate or if you don't have any idea yet you can simply put your availability and uh, write that you uh, will be participating in FHS existing activities and of course lastly uh, but most importantly participate actively in the meetings and activities of FHS and your respective team. Okay, for those who are uh, part of chapters or you wanted to be a volunteer in uh, our chapters, here are the three starting steps. Currently, we have uh, four chapters, Oslo, Kongsberg, uh, Olison Otrenheim, but uh, we will still be uh, meeting with this uh, the chapter leaders. But if you wanted to be part of those uh, chapters, here are the steps. First, the same as in team volunteer, you go to the website and res register as member and volunteer. Second step, attend the volunteer interview. The difference with the chapter volunteer and team volunteer. Here, uh, the interview will be facilitated by chapter coordinator and chapter secretary. 
instead of the core group, which is true with the uh, uh, team volunteer. But it's almost the same for the sub uh, sub step of the step two. You need to uh, register in the chapter directory uh, with the assistance, of course, of chapter secretary. So chapter secretary is the equivalent of the plan coordinator in the teams uh, that we have discussed a while ago. And the third step is uh, the same also, submission of ORSH plan. So here you will uh, write your availability and your plan uh, in your chapter, uh, what you wanted to contribute in the said chapter. And of course, participate, like uh, we emphasized a while ago. All right. So uh, here are two of the volunteer categories. We have actually four uh, volunteer categories. Here are uh, here are the categories. First is iron or uh, irregular volunteers. Uh, second is topas or the chapter project based or FHS um volunteers. Third is crystal. Uh, these are honorary volunteers and the last one is the element or core team volunteers. We will explain them further in the next slide. All right. Iron or irregular. Iron is uh, a basic element which we all of us actually have. Uh, it, when we say iron or regular volunteers, these are the volunteers who are interviewed by the core group or chapter officers. However, they fail to, uh, to accomplish uh, at least one of the three starting steps as FHS as a volunteer. So these uh, volunteers are not subjected to volunteer status evaluation because uh, maybe the, the final step or the ORSH plan submission is the one they are lacking. So uh, if the, our volunteer failed to submit their ORSH plan or failed to complete all these three steps, they will be coined iron volunteers, but they are still welcome and are eligible for minimum volunteer benefits. Top us. If you are a chapter or project based or part of FHS U, which is one of our uh, core teams, um, you are a top us volunteer, which means that you have accomplished all the three starting steps as FHS volunteer required by the immediate leader. So, who are the immediate leader of uh, the chapter? Of course, the chapter officers or the chapter coordinator and chapter secretary. For the project, it is the project leader. And for the FHS UM, it is a FHS UM core group. So, for example, a uh, project uh, like Sprock Cafe, we, we do have uh, volunteers who wanted just to, to uh, give some time uh, volunteering as a facilitator in the Sprock Cafe. So they are top as uh, volunteers and their immediate leader would be still uh, team leaders of Nubi Norway since uh, Sprock Cafe is under the Nubi Norway team. Chapter officers, like I said, if you're a volunteer in Olison, so you'll be reporting to the chapter coordinator and secretary. And with the UNG, they, uh, this, um, Top us uh, category, uh, they have they are, have the uh, simple uh, sense of in independence. Like chapter officers, they can provide their own rules and regulations as uh, approved by the core group, and they they can have also their own like uh, bylaws. And uh, this we will uh, explain further when we talk about the chapters. And the same way with uh, FHS-UNG. FHS-UNG, uh, 
get a lot of independence and they have their own purpose and goals and rules and regulations but everything is uh, submitted beforehand to the core group and approved by us and and so uh, they may be a different uh, way of uh, of working together in this chapters and FHS UNG but still uh, top uh, volunteer should report to their immediate leader and they may or may not be evaluated and if you're wondering what benefits can uh, top us uh, volunteer get they can get only collective benefits as chapter as entire chapter as the entire project team and as a whole core team they are not eligible for their for independent benefits so if you wanted like a uh, free service or um, perks from the organization you cannot get that for yourself uh, this w- this should be uh, requested by the majority of either chapter project team or the core team of FHS Home. all right the next category is the crystal or honorary volunteer. These are the uh, people who we from the core group asked to be part of FHS. So the voluntary works that they that they perform according to formal or informal agreement with the core group. So they are called on-call volunteers. And since we requested their service or help, they are ex- exempted from accomplishing starting steps as a volunteer and as well uh, exempted from evaluation of volunteer status. So if they wanted to get some benefits uh, from the organization, uh, that would be uh, decided upon by the FHS core group. And the last but not the least, the element or the core team. Uh, this the majority of the volunteers fall under falls under this uh, category. So element or the core team are the volunteers in each uh, teams like Newbie Norway, Helsinki, They may be considered as an element uh, volunteer if they accomplish the starting steps as a FHS team volunteer. Volunteer status must be evaluated regularly and it is the next topic. Regularly means every month. And active team volunteers get prioritized individually for FHS benefits, services, and other perks. So they may request benefits or perks or other services from the organization uh, exclusively for themselves. Okay. So, how do we evaluate our volunteers? This is the next uh, agenda. Okay, so here, here's the uh, FHS volunteer status with uh, the corresponding element. So we have steel with an average score of zero, bronze with one to three, silver four to seven, and gold 8 to 10 okay so uh, if you get uh, a total score of zero uh, below uh, for those the assessment areas which we will uh, discuss then you will be coined as a steel volunteer for that month if you however get one or two or three you'll get the the bronze element as your status Silver, if you got four to seven, and you, and if you are so incredible, incredibly active, then you'll get an, a score of eight to ten, and you'll get a gold status. Okay, how do we score your your performance? We we do have five assessment areas. First assessment area is initiative or leadership. One of the 
SDGs or the Sustainability uh, Development Goal uh, that uh, FHS is working on is about your uh, financial stability. So we wanted all of the volunteers to learn to be leaders. So we will hone their skills and talents in order for for them to uh, to fulfill or to reach their full potential. And so we wanted you to take initiative. So volunteers who are not taking initiative get zero a score. Those who are taking initiative, at least 25% till 74% of the team activities will get one point. Those who are initiating more than 75% of all activities, both FHS and team activities, will get two. Second uh, assess assessment area is about engagement or activity. So the first is about leading, taking initiative. The second is about uh, participating or en engaging yourself. If we don't feel your presence or you're always inactive, you'll get a score of zero. You'll get a score of one if you participate actively in some of team or FHS activities. If you are performing in almost 75% or more of the, our activities, you'll get a score of two. Next is communication. Those who do not provide updates or apologies apologies when we when you are unable to attend meetings or practice and do not provide like uh, apology or uh do not uh, cifra or um, inform your pc and tl then you'll get a score of zero if you do provide updates and apologies but not regularly you'll get a score of one. If you're always active in communicating with your peace and team leader, you'll get a score of two. Under your communication is also the attitude or the way of communicating or relating with your uh, co-volunteers. If you show a little rough attitude towards others in the team, you'll be deducted in the score. So instead of getting two, you might get one or zero. Still, this is uh, dependent on the decision of those who will evaluate you. The fourth uh, assessment area is attendance. When you are nowhere to found and absent in all the meetings, of course you'll get zero. If you are present in some of the meetings, both the general, the team, and other me uh, meetings that is uh, that are held uh, in connection with FHS, then you'll get a score of one. You get a perfect score of two if you are present in all the meetings. The last uh, assessment area is promotion. Still, if we don't feel you in terms of the promotion of the activities and programs of uh, FHS, you get a score of zero. You get a score of one if you are, yes, active, but not all the time in promoting our activities. If you are uh, super active in uh, the promotion uh, part, for at least uh, three-fourths of the FHS uh, activities in both social media and personal if you speak good about the organization then you'll get a perfect score of two so we sum it up if you for example uh, get got a score of one for the first area two for the second zero for the third and zero for the fourth and two for the fifth, you get a score of six, meaning you'll get a silver status. And how? How do we evaluate you? Okay. The the score, if you get the total score of 
uh, 10, that means that you have, uh, you've got the highest score in each of the assessment area. So that is five assessment areas times two, that is 10. But if you also are an active officer, for example, you're part of a core group, you're a TL, you're a PC, you're a chapter coordinator, you're a chapter secretary, and you do your work actively, you get a score of two more points, giving you 12 points. And that, the effect of that will uh, be uh, explained later. Okay, here's the guide for evaluation. The FHS volunteer status will be the monthly evaluation of every FHS volunteer, every element FHS volunteer or topas FHS volunteer. Because like I said, iron volunteers are not subjected to uh, volunteer evaluation uh, the same way as the crystal volunteers. At the end of the month, the volunteer will be assessed by the core group member, one, his or her team leader, two, PC, four, a uh, third, and then fourth is the person or the volunteer itself. So every uh, core group member, team leader, and PC, and the volunteer itself will get the a paper for the evaluation and uh, and will evaluate the volunteer so you'll get four different status or if if it is really uh, obvious that you are performing well or not then it will reflect also so we will get the average score or the average status so for example you're three times bronze and one time silver maybe you'll get a bronze status so still this is uh, subjected on the on the evaluation or assessment of this for uh, evaluator yet that is including you as a volunteer that would be the part where you can reflect also how you are performing in this uh, in the organization Volunteers who have earned steel status, what is steel status? Uh, those who get a score of zero in one month will be provided an extra assessment of the cost of inactivity by PC. So the PC will, will ask you privately what's the cost of your uh, inactivity if you did not uh, give advice, of course. And if needed, Encouragement and motivation will be given by the team leader, PC, and or an FHS officer. So to encourage you to perform better or like find a way where you can contribute to the organization. However, a volunteer who has earned steel status in three consecutive months will be given a written advice by the FHS secretary and that's Ms. Maria Bergais. The volunteer will be in that written note as regarding his or her commitment in volunteering. The volunteer should be assisted by PC and team leader if she said yes that she wanted to continue with FHS. Will be assisted by the PC and team leader to achieve at least bronze status on the following month or on the fourth month. On the other hand, a volunteer with gold status in at least two consecutive months will be prioritized for FHS offers, other opportunities, and benefits. Volunteers with gold status in at least three consecutive months will be first in line in performing projects with allowances. So th uh, those were the perks of being a gold, uh, gold volunteer. Okay. So, uh, how about for those who get benefits from us? Let, let's take uh, Noshkush gratis applying as an example. This is stipulated in the contract for those who got a slot in the Noshkush uh, gratis applying. Or, uh, I, mean, I mean, FHS uh, gratis Noshk applying. So, it is written there that 
As recipient of FHS gratis dosh of learning, you ought to give back to the organization or pay forward to succeeding applicants by maintaining at least FHS silver volunteer status. In the succeeding eight months from this month, April of 2021, failure to do so may impede your opportunities and benefits as FHS volunteer. For example, that you can be disqualified from future free courses that FHS will offer. So we are not really uh, requiring too, too much from you. At least maintain silver status for from April and uh, the succeeding months, eight months total. Because we also uh, recognize that you need to focus on studying Norwegian and your other other uh, businesses like work and studies. But we also wanted you to uh, like give back, not for the organization, but uh, for us to grow. Because the the vision of the of FHS is to help each other. We have this helping cycle, so we help each other in to flourish or to be successful. So you ought to give back or pay forward for those who are in need. So those who who wanted to avail the free courses, they must also get help, and that help would be coming from you. All right, and for the last slide. Uh, if you are wondering, those who got more than 10 points, what would happen to them? If you're always uh, topping the the score like with more than 10, because if you also, for example, you are a leader in the team, and uh, at the same time you are the PC or a chapter coordinator or chapter secretary, each, each position will give you two points if you are actively working on that positions so if you have four different positions then you'll get two each and you'll score 18 but of course we do encourage people or the volunteers to give way also to those who do not have position for them also to gain um, growth and development and uh, exercise their leadership skills so maybe one or two positions should uh, should uh, maybe enough for for a volunteer. Okay, for those uh, who get the score of more than ten points, here is what will happen to you. You will achieve diamond status if you garnered score of more than ten points for the twelve consecutive months, meaning for a year, maintaining more than ten points will give you a diamond status and what it is for you. Those with diamond status will get extra volunteer benefits and prioritization over the gold, over of course the silver and bronze and the steel. You're the number one top priority in the organization. And in time of election, you will get the endorsement from the current core group if you are to run as an FHS officer or be part of the next batch of FHS core group. Because here in FHS, every effort will be seen, every effort will be prioritized, and every effort will be rewarded. On the other hand, those who do not uh, initiate and uh, won't give back to the organization they they won't also be getting any any anything from the organization because we must uh, promote our mission vision and goal and the uh, the bottom line uh, for all of those is the helping the helping society because we trust alt are the Filipino helping society in Norway and with that we welcome you all. For those who wanted to be a volunteer, keep, uh, keep posted. We will be uh, opening stats soon for you and the uh, interview sessions 
will also op- will also be open soon. Again, this has been Salaria Malayan. Thank you, you all for watching and uh, we hope to see you soon as part of FHS, maybe a volunteer, member, or leader. Bye!